Hey, Flame here, and welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're reacting to a wrestling related video, specifically WrestleMania by Parts Fun and No. Why am I reacting to wrestling, especially WrestleMania related stuff? It's because me, Flame, is going is going to WrestleMania this year, this weekend. In fact, I'm excited. My first WrestleMania person, my childhood dream, has finally come true. I'm reacting to the ten biggest mistakes that would be made with WrestleMania. Let me tell you what could be the, the biggest mistakes that could happen in this mania. The first big mistake is Rhea losing. Rhea should win. The next biggest mistake, Asuka losing. Asuka should win. The biggest mistake, Cody losing. Cody should win. Another big mistake, Finn losing. Finn should win. Um, another one, Dom losing. Dom should win. What's another one? Gunther losing. Gunther should win. <laughs> but yeah, for me, I said the biggest ones would be Rhea losing and Cody losing and Finn. I feel like those three, those three should win. If they lose, there will be a big mistake. And uh, you know what? Another one will be Sammy and KO. But I'm 100% sure they are going to win the tag titles. 100% sure. So I'll, hopefully, I don't have to worry about that. But anyways, a big mistake. Now that Elimination Could Chamber is to our backs, there's losing. nothing left but Oscar the road losing to WrestleMania, WWE's flagship show. One? And the thing about flagships Brock is that normally they're the, the best streak. and most beautiful that ship was, in your armada, a beacon a of dominance, mistake. power, and above all, teamwork, uh, a small army of people working in perfect unison Net to keep the pirates. sails full <laughs> and the journey prosperous. What was another sometimes, one? the captain mm. of the flagship is an old dickhead who steers the flagship into a clutch of rocks and it sinks with all I hands lost. Point is, after 30 WrestleMania. There's a litany of treasured memories, feelings at WWE got their biggest show of the year, right? Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 30, Ric Flair's fantastic. retirement, Shawn Michaels' Good retirement, match. Bianca a versus Sasha to name but a few. But this list is all about the times Ooh, where fans walked Kurt. away from WWE's flagship show. Oh, yeah, that was a, bloody that was hell. A, that yeah. sank without a trace. I'm Adam Hailing from Parts that, Fun. No, here are the 10 biggest the mistakes WWE made with WrestleMania. WrestleMania 2's three locations. You know that episode in every sitcom where they have to hold too. multiple parties at the same time while the parties can never location, find out Madison about each other. Square, well, WrestleMania 2 is like that. I don't one know where party the being held for Vince's parents in LA, one for Linda's parents in New York, and one for the visiting Japanese dignitaries in Chicago. The original WrestleMania oh. was a huge success, so Vince thought they could triple that success by holding Mania 2 in three different arenas, with the gimmick being that each mm. arena would get its own undercard and main event, with the broadcast feed then cutting between the venues. LA would get a bunch of matches, including Hulk Hogan versus King Ooh. Kong Bundy in a cage. New York would get a bunch of matches, including oh, Mr. Fight. T versus Dear Roddy Piper God, in a boxing, boxing match. match. And Chicago would get a bunch of matches, including the British Bulldogs versus the Dream Team. Two of those main events are not as good as the other one. What would the audience in each arena do when their live matches were over? Just Why watch they'd watch the, the rest on big monitors like the rest of us at home. Thanks for paying top dollar for one third of a live show, idiots. It was bad, and they never did the silly, silly thing ever again. Honestly, that's Nine good that they did every it. corner. Why did people Big love man. WWE and the attitude here? Was it for Which The Rock, Stone Cold this Steve Austin, the booming tag division, or the electric oh, mid-card featuring oh, the dream landscape of Jericho, fire. Benoit, Guerrero, and Angle? No, you silly goose. It was for the McMahon family melodrama. Hot Linda action Damn. all day, every day. Look at those vibrant, expressive eyes. Rather than oh, running is this one? She was Rock drugged out? 2000, she stands by far up? and away the hottest feud going at the time. The WWE world. decided to balloon the main and event to feature the only just Mr. retired Mick Foley and the Big Show as well, with each competitor being managed by a different member Wait, of the was box of seagulls that was the McMahon family. Mick had Linda Tron, Triple H had Stephanie, The Rock hey. had Vince, and Big Show had Shane. Mick had Linda Tron, Triple H had... St Can we go back? <clears throat> Stephanie McMahon was... Uh, was so fine. Okay? So fine. I'm so jealous of Triple H. Super jealous. Stephanie, The Rock had Vince, and Big Show had mm. Shane. And talk I about ripping the Shane. heart out of your main event. The end result match was fairly heatless and often Triple confusing. H1? Mick and Trips teaming One. up to fight The Rock 
what? Until it came down to the match we all wanted, the game versus the Wasn't people's it? champ, it which ended be... with, you guessed it, another McMahon family swerve. Oh, brother and sister and mother and father. Number eight, WrestleMania 9's main event. Very uh, few wrestling companies have changed so much in one calendar year than WWE did from 1992 to 1993. Nine. Between Mania's eight and nine, Ric Flair oh, fled back this, to WCW. The Ultimate the Warrior Bret was Hart, fired Yoko, again, and the steroid scandal hit the industry like Hulk a suspiciously Hogan? veiny frog splash. WWE's favorite doctor, the purveyor of muscle juice, Dr. Zahorian, had been indicted for distributing steroids and named a laundry list Ooh, of WWE stars he provided them to throughout 1992. Two, this saw a mass exodus of wrestlers with the most mass. Hulk Hogan, chief mm. among them. Sid was gone, Bulldog was gone, Vince mm. thought Macho was too mm. old to go, and the company scrambled to piece together a new main event scene led oh. by Bret Hart, I, I was whose correct. biggest muscle was his big I wrestling brain. The, the also logo his dick. WrestleMania, WrestleMania 9. 9 could have been the big changing of the guard. Was this the a first time it was an open win for stadium? Bret Hart to cement his place at the top of the company. Instead, Vince got cold grapefruit, brought back a much slimmer Hulk Hogan, and contrived a ludicrous company reset where Hulk Hogan managed mm. to win the WWE. WWE mm. title in a match he wasn't even in. I remember Sorry, playing Brett. this Number match. Seven, and I what Baron game. Corbin retires Kurt Angle. Well, that's terrible one's choice. It's terrible no choice. To anyone with a memory bigger. Than I, f in my opinion, I felt like just because of history, I felt like John Cena should have retired Kurt because John Cena was Kurt Angle's first opponent when John Cena debuted in WWE. I felt like that could have been a cool tie-in, like. You know, my first debut, my, my debut match was against you, and your retirement match is against me. I feel like they could have done that. That could have been. Goldfish, I would say that could have been way time, better than what ring, we have one gotten. One of the best characters ever, an unparalleled mix of comedy chops and being able to stretch a soul out your fucking body. Kurt Angle returned to the company as a full time personality in 2017, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. sure, he couldn't go half as well as he once could true. a decade that earlier, but hey, at least he got to be in the Shield that one yeah. time. Look at this stupid picture. Delightful. Short angle. 2019 rolled around. When I kind of wish it was like it lasted longer Kurt for a while. Really couldn't go anymore. This led to his retirement match ja, at Mania ja, 35. Ja, ja. The man to be his final opponent, Constable fucking Corbin, the hotel bartender who spent mm. the year ruining Raw, was which, Kurt's which final Mania opponent. Was this not one John Cena, not AJ Styles. That's what I'm saying. Joe. This goddamn so Mojo guy. also sure, makes a lot of sense because of the history in TNA. There would have been a sense of emotional resonance, a thematic closing of a circle. But no, Baron Corbin pinned him clean as he like as my heart hey, he's shattered a into a guy. thousand I wonder if he's pieces. Be a yeah, he's six, be a WrestleMania, WrestleMania 8 event. main event. Stupid WrestleMania 8 is often regarded as the official end of the Hulkamania era of WWE. Ah. Because WrestleMania 9 sure as bloody Christ doesn't count. In fact, Mania 8 was partially sold on it being a farewell to Hulk Hogan because the Hogan the steroid face. writing was on the steroid wall. And what was touted as Hulkster's final match. Was it against Sid? Or how about some historical context? Throughout the 80s, while Hogan was ruler of the Fed, Ric Flair mm -hmm. was the man in WCW. Midway true, through 1991, true. a change of WCW management led to Flair heading over to the enemy camp. And boy, and did WWE the milk belt. that, going so far as have him turn up initially with a big gold belt, proclaiming himself to be the real world heavyweight champion, targeting mm -hmm, Hogan. Mm -hmm. Flair then cost Hulk his title at Survivor Series 91, won the belt at Royal Rumble 92. Everything was in place for Mr. WWE versus oh, Mr. WCW at WrestleMania right? 8. Who did Hogan fight in the main event? Sid Justice. Ending in a DQ. With nothing on the line. The biggest interpromotional dream match that the fans Stupid. were salivating over if in 1980. They didn't run it in 92. Only one world title. Because Hogan versus Flair didn't be the draw on the house show circuit. Automatically. A historic matchup wasted. Unless WCW would then of course do it in 1994 and it drew a huge buy rate. Him and Number Sid five, now WrestleMania 27's main event. Oh, ah, yes, Lord. The main I love John Cena. I, so, I really love John Cena. But this was not a good match. I hated the Miz so much. Event of WrestleMania where The Rock restarted the During match by time. turning it off, then on again. There's very little about WrestleMania 27 that works. Edge versus Alberto Del Rio was fine. Oh, yeah. Triple H versus Undertaker was too long, like all Triple H WrestleMania matches. But it was it very good moments. still. Everything else saw. Oh, what else happened? Shim oh, yeah, the quick. Wait, no, wait, wrong. Oh, no, this is for the United States Championship. It wasn't. Uh, there's, this was 2011, so Alberto De Rio won the Rumble and Challenge Edge. Next year was Shane. They fought twice in WrestleMania. That's funny. That's funny. Randy versus Punk. Oh, that fight was good. Uh, Cody versus Ray. Was that for the Intercontinental title? 
Oh, wait, no, it, it's not. It doesn't say that. Okay, never mind. Oh, this match was horrendous. And this is the Snooky one. Okay. Fucked. It's the WrestleMania where Jerry Lawler lost to Michael Cole in a dusty finish because God died. Also, Snooky was there. Hello, yeah. Snooky. Also, the core was there. I forgot about the match. The core. the core. Anyway, the main event is probably the worst thing about the show. No, it's Cole Alex Lawler, Riley. The main event of WWE's biggest I miss show, Alex the Riley. Year, aka the biggest it's wrestling Sun match of the year, slaps. was John Cena losing to a still not good version of The Miz after The Rock interfered following a double countout spot, which saw The Miz and also Miz get was concussed. Of his life. What a cursed sentence. Sacrificing a Look WrestleMania main event in order to set so up the first of, of two once in a lifetime matches. Number yes, four, sir. going with the golf. WrestleMania the golf 7 board? was oh. a really weird show. The power of Hulkamania was fading. The ultimate warrior as WWE champion experiment had resulted in middling feuds, middling matches, and middling box office. And the company was in a bit of a panic mode. After Undertaker the blockbuster success snooker. of Hulk Hogan versus the ultimate warrior at WrestleMania 6, the original plan for Mania 7 was to do the sequel match. Hogan and Warrior 2, this time in America, booking the colossal Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Warrior? However, from SummerSlam onwards, the Ultimate Warrior Championship run seemed to be running out of steam, and like with WrestleMania 9, WWE retreated to the warm, cozy, and not at all strangle-like embrace of Hulkamania. And the Gulf War mm -hmm. conflict of late 1990 gave them a reason to return to Mr. America himself. WWE sought to cash Ooh. in on the very real war with very real people dying, yeah. and put the belt on Iraqi sympathizer and plodding mid-card a Sergeant Slaughter, the storyline was a total bust offensive to some tired mm -hmm. to others translating to awful ticket sales for wrestlemania 7 forcing wwe to downgrade Big the show's venue venues. to the much smaller los angeles memorial sports arena and claiming that the change of venue is down to receiving bomb threat <laughs> Chinny reckon. Number three, Roman Reigns at Mania 32. Oh, the, ah, the little Adam's first Triple WrestleMania H. attended in person. You think that would give it a special place in my heart? And it does have a special place right Ooh. at the bottom. Was the that the one it was a super title? dispiriting Fantastic. WrestleMania. AJ Styles lost to Chris Jericho. Brock versus Dean fell flat. Sasha didn't win the women's championship. The sheer amount of nostalgia dragged the show out way too long and worse. Wait, wait, wait. 2006, that was, this was 2017. No, wait, 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 wait. 2016. No, yeah, it is 2016. I'm so dumb. AJ lost his first mania to Chris Jericho? WrestleMania. AJ Styles lost to Chris Jericho. Brock versus That's Dean crazy. Fell flat. I feel like AJ Sasha didn't win the women's championship. His first match the sheer amount won. of nostalgia dragged the show out way too long. Mania. And worse, all that fing main event. The babyface coronation that no one wanted, and despite making it very clear that this <laughs> uh, is not the way to go, name. crowning Roman Reigns champion and taking bloody f 27 minutes to do it. I believe the term is crushing inevitability. A boring match to get a result that the overwhelming majority mm. of hardcore fans, aka the WrestleMania fans yeah. in attendance, didn't want. It was a bad scene, gang. I remember indeed, everyone indeed, being indeed. incredibly sour about it in the stadium after the show, and that's not exactly the way you want your fans to feel after your biggest show of the year, especially one that's supposed to be a milestone mm -hmm. in the ascension of your top star. Roman was a mistake. Should have gone with Dean. Number two, turning Austin heel. The ending Ooh, of WrestleMania X7, about, the best yes, WrestleMania, yes, yes. is iconic. Heard about this. The picture of Austin shaking yes, Mr. McMahon's this, hand, this, this. allying with his long-term antagonist in order to win the WWE Championship, selling his soul to Satan himself, yeah. is burned into our minds Against as the ultimate the rock, full stop nonetheless. on a dramatic thrilling often beautiful night of wrestling it wasn't a bad angle by any means it didn't make a whole bunch of sense that after everything just, they put each it other shouldn't have the happened at this moment bury the hatchet also didn't really make sense for them to do it in texas where you couldn't pay people to boo austin True. that however is not what makes austin's turn a huge mistake nor is it a comment on austin's heel run there is a lot of good deranged stuff in there instead it's just the timing the crowd weren't ready to yeah. boo austin and the wider world wasn't either certainly not with the other biggest baby face in the company leaving right after Mania. Who are the certified face who, main who eventers left? left? Undertaker, I suppose. And that's it. Even if fans mm. wanted an Austin heel run, and they didn't, without The Rock to make an instant feud out of it, the hottest Whoa, active wrestler Rock suddenly found up. himself alone <laughs> at the top, and people just like were confused. A great moment, but a poorly timed decision, one that even Austin himself publicly regrets. Mm. And number one, too fucking long WrestleMania though. 34? If we haven't already bagged on WrestleMania 32 enough, and cosmically we really haven't, there's another reason why it makes this list. It's because WrestleMania 32 oh, started no, 32. what thereafter became a yearly tradition of WrestleMania being too 
fucking long. Damn, a WWE pay-per-view is three hours. Fine again. WrestleMania <laughs> is four hours. Those are the rules. With the WWE Network obliterating the company's once desperate reliance on pay-per-view, such rules went mm -hmm, out the window. Mm -hmm, and from 2016 mm -hmm. onwards, the running lengths really started to creep up. WrestleMania 32 was four hours and 40 minutes. That's too long. WrestleMania 33 and, and 34 were five hours. That's too long. WrestleMania 35 was five hours and 20 minutes long. That is too fucking long. Also, none of those run times I just mentioned included the pre-shows. What horrible True. reality is oh this? We're all Bruce and the Bob the the chocolate cake an hour is long. wrestling. WrestleMania 35's horrific run time was so insane, it legit caused a minor transportation crisis, overrunning the time that the subways closed in New York. How is anyone supposed to it care about wrestling York? after five hours? How is anyone supposed to care about anything after five hours? The sole silver lining of the pandemic era of wrestling is it gave us a current tradition of two day WrestleMania, yes. where neither night lasts beyond four hours. A sincere blessing. Which is, yeah, a blessing, yeah. And never ever do a five hour show again, WWE. How dare you? What about great feuds? The thing is with the two nights, and then we can have each night could be three hours because the reason it's getting longer is because there's more people in the roster, so that means more matches in the lineup, in the card. So, of course, it makes it longer. And with two nights, obviously, you can have this the card easily divided into two. And bam, three hours each. Fantastic. I've done this. My dad hates that <laughs> WrestleMania's two nights because he was like, oh, it's going to be Sunday. Cool. I'm like, um, no, it's Saturday and Sunday. Like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, night one and night two. He started doing that. He was like, why? I don't want to go there two nights. You should just be in one night full time <laughs> one night like eight hours and i was like no or six hours or whatever like and i'm like no that's dumb like i i literally told him do you want to sit there for five plus six hours he's like if i go just once yes i'm like <sighs> then my mom was like i kind of agree and then my mom was like yeah i don't want to sit more than three hours at a time i'm like yeah and my mom agrees with me so yeah because uh, hopefully there's no mistake that happens that this weekend uh, mania hopefully nothing i uh, hope oh please let cody win please he needs to win and other than that um, I, I yeah i don't think i have anything else to say obviously the link to the original video down in the description below go watch it yourself go like it yourself support parts fun unknown please and Support me by liking and subscribing. See y'all after Mania. Probably. I don't know. Am I going to upload this weekend? I don't know. Probably not. Anyways, bye-bye. <laughs>